y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement for Outlander. We're at season four, episode 11, coming near to the season finale. And of course, things are amok. Things are amok. Brianna is in River Run to hang out and be pregnant for a while. Really, what else is she gonna do? What else is she gonna do? Mm -hmm. And the Frasers are heading north to try to find Roger. <laughs> and I love, <laughs> they have no idea where he is. He's north. We'll just head north. I'm sure that there are only like a few trails they could take in that direction. But I still think it's, it's kind of funny. No GPS, no real maps, just that way. <laughs> That's where we're going. But Roger, Roger may not be there because he found some stones. He found some time traveling stones and we left with his hand just, just does he go through? Does he go through? Will we find out this episode or not? I don't know. I was told, thank you whoever told me previously in the comments that you found, it had to wait like forever, like multiple, multiple, multiple chapters to find out what happened to Roger. <gasps> I think I'm getting, I think I like the fact that I can find out right away <laughs> what to do as to what happened. Did he get through the stones to try to like fix himself up, gather a few more supplies, be a bit more prepared so he can go back through or is he done? Is he done with the whole time travel? I could see it both ways. Couldn't blame the man, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do. I do find it humorous. So Jamie has had to interact with 20th century Claire, but it was early 20th century Claire, female woman person. Then he's got Brianna, who grew up during the women's liberation movement, who was all, oh, no, no, no. You don't get to tell me how to feel. And you, that was my favorite line. You do not get to feel worse than I do. And I'm sure Jamie has no idea what hit him at all in any capacity. I both love that, but I also fear <laughs> for Brianna. Because again, you kind of got to play your cards right in this time period. When do you let some of that out? And when do you have to strain it in to bring, because you don't want to bring undue attention to yourself. They're still doing st not quite as many witch trials in America at this time, however. However, but I'm ready to get started. I know you are. So we're gonna get cozy with our big cozy blankets. I've got some tea with me. Thank you all so much for joining me and let's get to it. We got a shower head and subway tile. He went through the stones. But where did he end up like exactly? Don't even think of trying to escape again. He didn't go back to the stones. Move. We're leaving. So then how is he? Did he just not hide very well? Or did they stop him? Well, could have stopped him. That's a possibility. Is Brianna the one drawing all these pictures? Well, I'm glad she found a hobby. God in heaven, what have I brought you to? <laughs> Was he a man possessed? I... I'm creating. Hurt. What about your father? Will you forgive him as well? He wouldn't have done what he did if I hadn't have been mistaken about Mr. Wakefield. Even if I could forgive him for what he did to Roger, I can't forget the things he said to me. Kind of true as well. You'll have heard about the Mohawk. No doubt. In your time. I don't know much about them. Sometimes it's hard to separate fact from fiction. When you don't have two sides of the story, aye, yeah, it is. <laughs> mm. Did the Cherokee recognize that? Aye. They believe it's from a Mohawk village called Shadow Lake. That's rather specific. Who's been taken there? Will they be willing to guide us there? They have no business there, Uncle. The Cherokee will not accompany us. No. Can they draw you a map? Something rudimentary. I can speak some Mohawk. And the Mohawk I sold Roger to spoke English. 
But we don't know what lies ahead. And it'll be dangerous, but... Aye, we've lived with a few of the unknown before. Unfortunately. Finding it hard not to think about how Brianna and Roger must feel. One day when you've children of your own, you'll understand. You never stop worrying about them. Didn't you care about that? Write your mother. Is a hint. Write your mother. But you're wasting your breath if you think Stephen Bonnet will take on a man with one hand. Oh, Fergus. Oh, Fergus, please. Please don't cross Stephen Bonnet. <gasps> oh, yeah. Mary's right. We don't have much time to get you ready. For what? Mistress Cameron's holding a dinner next week, and I need to fit you for a new dress. Phaedra, could you please tell my aunt I don't need a new dress? But you do, mistress. <laughs> and a new dress will help hide your condition. Mistress Cameron wants to introduce you to him and some of her other friends. She trying to do some matchmaking there? Thank you, Miss Fraser. She's going by Fraser, not Randall. Interesting. If I recall correctly, these earrings will look lovely with your dress. Thank you, but I told Phaedra I don't need a new dress. Take the earrings. She is your hostess. <laughs> Mars, look what you're doing. <laughs> Subtle. Sorry. Subtle. Thank you. <laughs> Trouble sleeping, lass. Yeah. Now that you mention it. Tell Fergus you want him to fight alongside you. <gasps> oh, that's a strategy I wasn't I wasn't thinking about. Ooh. I'd like you to ask Fergus to join you and your men if and when the time comes. He needs a purpose. May I present my niece, Brianna Fraser. Wait. I suppose he wants it. Not Patrick Monaghan, the other one. <laughs> Billy Boyd, Billy Boyd? Brianna, this is Gerald Forbes and his sister. Prudence Forbes. I've been looking forward to this occasion. Why? The lass is quite accomplished. Splendid. What sort of things do you draw? I recently finished a portrait of Phaedra. I believe Phaedra is one of the slaves here at Riveron. You mean to say you draw Negroes? Brianna, I, I, I don't believe you've had the pleasure. <laughs> this is... I draw whatever inspires me. Very courageous. I'd love to see it. Mm-hmm. With your aunt's permission, I'd like to take you on an excursion to New Bern to show you some of the... Uh... His drawings. He wants to show her his drawings. Uh, Miss Fraser, uh, there is something I wish to show you. More sketches. Perhaps we should all join them in the parlor. You'll see. Mistress. This was not what? 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 <laughs> I'm thinking of having one of these stones fashioned into a piece of jewelry. Why would he bring those with him? But ooh. Shouldn't like to venture my own opinion without first hearing Mistress Alderdice's choice. <laughs> ooh, that was slick, Brianna. Lord John Gray. John! 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 John, do you know about John? Does she know about John? Very glad to be here. Why is John there? I need... <laughs> Quiet! I need to lay my hands on as many rifles as possible. <laughs> Maybe I should just teach the regulators how to wail instead. It's very effective. If I'm to fight Tryon's army, I can think of no man I'd rather have by my side. I'm honored that you've asked. But my place is here. With Marcelie and Jelma. It is here. The ship you've been waiting for, the Gloriana, it is in port. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're not the strangest thing that happened during my time in Jamaica. A very strange place indeed. Your turn. Oh, no. Oh, I, uh, 
I don't have any anecdotes half as entertaining as yours. But I uh, do have something for occasions such as these that I learned a long time ago on the subject of psychology. What, what, are you, what, what are you doing, Brianna? I'll ask you a few questions, and I want you to picture whatever comes to mind first. Oh, and you, uh, you might want to close your eyes. Hmm. Must I close my eyes when you are before me? Yes. <laughs> I want you to imagine that you're in a forest with someone. You encounter an animal. Now, one at a time, you'll tell me what you saw, and I'll tell you what each answer represents. Oh, good God. Who was with you in the forest? I was walking with Christ. And the animal you saw? A squirrel. Frequents my mother's garden each morning. You see, when a person is walking with Christ, it can mean that they're seeking forgiveness. Oh, Brianna, she's going to stick her foot in it big time, isn't she? But when walking with Christ yourself, and given that squirrels tend to hoard things away, it would seem that your problems are secrets. Something Mrs. Alderdice doesn't know about then since the squirrel is in her garden. I assure you, I know everything there is to know about my son. <laughs> breathe, 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 breathe. Excuse me for a moment. I'm going to go take some air. to air out my secrets. Oh, is John one of his secrets? My niece is a clever lass, indeed. She is. <laughs> Jocasta's going, I see where. So, Lord John. There I Apple doesn't far from the clear tree. Who's with you in the forest? Your papa. Who came to mind first? Your father. You'll excuse me. Uh, is it my turn? <laughs> I'm eager to tell you who my forest companion was. Oh, I'm feeling quite unwell. Oh, my dear. Oh, I was so worried when I heard that you'd fainted in your condition. <laughs> Lizzie! 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 Am I to understand you want to be a mother? Your father didn't tell me about this, you know. Did you lose your husband? My father allowed him to be traded to the Mohawk. And Mistress Cummins is fully apprised of this. She certainly is. And yet I'm starting to suspect that it's part of the reason for this dinner. She is trying to secure me a husband. I see. Surely you cannot take another husband if you're already married. Do Roger and I were hand fast. Do I sense a secret engagement? Secret engagement to keep the suitors away? When your father wrote and asked for me to come, he enclosed a letter. Oh. Maybe I should have. Hmm. Pedro? Let us prepare the bed chambers for the guests staying overnight. Ooh, ooh, they're down the hall. Ooh, ooh. May I speak frankly? Mm. Of course. <laughs> You've been doing so all evening. <laughs> it's time we find you a husband. And what if I don't want a husband? What does want have to do with it? Everything. Oh, cl Brianna, remember what time period you're in? You said my grandmother married for love? I, like you. Ellen was with child before she wed. Was she now? Brothers Colum and Dougal tried to arrange a marriage for her, but... Was she now? She outwitted them when she eloped with Brian Fraser. The important thing is, the bairn was born in wedlock. If yours is not, he'll be branded a fatherless bastard. Which is bad at this time period, Brianna. She kind of just should have told everybody they were married. And she's been done with it. But he's gone. It's not what you want to hear, but he's not coming back. Ooh, Jocasta! The savages now be it dead or alive. The sooner you accept that, the better. Says the woman who's been married four times? Five times? Murder! <laughs> okay, so they're gonna get... Let's say, let's say they happen to... Capture Bonnet. James is gone. James is the one that wants to land a killing blow. What are they going to do with him until he gets back? Hello. No. 
Think you've got the wrong room, sir. Why? I'm looking for a gentleman. You're no gentleman. Dr. Wetlip. What am I gonna do with him for months and months and months? Just keep him in a hole? Huh? He deserves a hole. Oh, that's right. You've got house guests. You've got house guests. You cannot wa walk around in your night clothes. <sighs> I knew it. I knew it. Walk away. 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 Should have tied him Call up this. before. What have you done to that man? Return to your wife and children. What are you doing? Unhand him. This was a terrible, terrible plan. Your plan was terrible. Terrible. Just Cameron is asking you to come down for some tea. I'm to dress you in something especially becoming. And God, who's the who's the other guest? Mr. Forbes was quite taken. He intends to ask for your hand in marriage. Mistress Cameron gave her blessing. No, no. Would you tell my aunt that when you came to wake me, I'd gone on my morning walk? How long should I tell the mistress you'll be? Forever! And will you send Lizzie to see me? Are you gonna escape? Where are you gonna escape to? With the time passing, I, I wanted to ask instead. Will you marry me? <laughs> Jamie is one of the people I cherish most on this earth, and I cannot take your hand in marriage. Is he already married? Did he remarry? Lord John, if you refuse my offer... <gasps> no blackmail! It is with deep regret that I'll have to reveal what I saw you doing last night. <gasps> Brianna! Whatever it is you think you saw, you're quite mistaken. No, I know what I saw. And I will write letters to the governor, the sheriff... Knowing the severity of the punishment of this crime, you would do that. Then I'll tell Jamie. He knows something. Well, that's assuming he doesn't already know. And as you said yourself, he's otherwise engaged. Oh, Brianna, you were desperate. You should have thought of a... I am almost tempted to submit to your outrageous proposal. It would certainly teach you to play with fire. It sounds like a threat. But you just... Mm, uh. Oh, Brianna, you should have gone about this. T took a second. Just... Oh, taking a second. I know I'm thinking way too hard. I agree with your aunt. You should marry, but you understand now why I cannot be your husband. I have faith in your parents. They will find Roger and bring him back to you. And Forbes is about to propose. If I marry him, I'll be exchanging hope for a broken heart. Jacques is expecting me. You could have a long engagement. Mr. Forbes has a matter to put before you. So what's he gonna do when he finds out she's like four I, um, months pregnant? Thank you for waiting for me, my dear. Have you told them our good news? No, I haven't. I've asked for Miss Fraser's hand in marriage. And she has accepted. Okay. A joyous occasion. <laughs> Indeed. And an enemy has been made. Had you not encouraged me to find a husband, I would never have opened my heart to Lord John. <laughs> Good day to you all. Mr. Forbes. <laughs> I didn't came how you managed that to Mackenzie. You truly are. John is Mackenzie, in a way. Rolo, what is that, boy? Is that Roger's shoe? Oh, no. That's not a shoe at all. Rolo! Rolo! Rolo's gonna find more pieces. Oh! Oh, was that the guy traveling with Roger? Eat, eat, eat. Disintegrated pretty quickly. I've seen this man before. I sold Roger to the Mohawk. Well, you're on the right trail then. Sometimes people do the wrong thing for the right reasons. She's going to be stepmother to her own brother. <laughs> 
If you are to see my son, William. You have a son. I didn't know that. If he is anything like his father, he must be a perfect gentleman. He is very much like his father. But he is not truly mine. He's going to tell her the truth? We don't share any blood. You're a good man. No. Good doesn't come into it. I love him more than life itself. I am sure Roger will too. We're all here in this new world, not because it's new. It's only new because there is hope. And hope is at the very heart of love. Look at you go, John. She didn't mean it. She doesn't want you to go to hell. I hurt her. I hope I can bring Roger back to her. She'll never forgive me. That might be a little bit true. She's just like you. She says things in anger that she doesn't mean. You didn't mean the things you said to her, did you? No. So they they brought him all that way just to beat him up? Or does he have to go through like a trial? Like a really, really bad soul train line. Here you go. So we're getting marriage of convenience again. Secret, secret engagement. I hope kind of, kind of sort of secret engagement. Anywho, I love it. I wish though, Rihanna would just take a second. It's a character thing. I know it's gonna be a character trait where she just bleh. But I'd love her to take a moment, stop and strategize a wee bit better. She's more like her mom than she wants to possibly realize. But, mm, cause, okay, cause again, being engaged, John is brilliant. So, shuttles away all the suitors. She doesn't have to marry John right away. They can just go off to Virginia for a bit and just wait until she hears from her parents who are in the wilderness. They're on the right path, but they are way so far behind. I didn't realize they were that, were they that far behind Roger? And the, Roger and the Mohawk, I don't, so the Mohawk, <laughs> so we've been told the Mohawk will sometimes take people that they bought mm -hmm. and integrate them to fill in the missing holes where they might need labor in their camp. So they take all this time to bring one guy all the way across the country just to beat him up once they get there trial by fire but to do because now you got a broken sick guy you've got to tend to and use resources to nurse back to health so that they can can be a benefit to your tribe can you see when my eyes are going i don't i don't understand this because that's the last we've seen of forbes i don't think so mm -hmm. the last we've seen of lieutenant wolf Wolf, that's his name? No. No. And Murtaugh, Murtaugh's been captured. So Murtaugh, what was their plan? Again, they didn't tie up Bonnet before they took him out of the room. And they didn't have the horses ready to just shuttle him right out. And what? <sighs> they need me in their lives. They need me in their lives. That's what it's doing. But we've got these but penultimate, I kind of like that word, but then I kind of don't like that word. But the penultimate episode of season four coming up next. I do want you there with me all so you can see me go, what the hell? What are they doing now? I don't know. I don't know. But thank you so much for joining me. Please take care of yourselves. Drink that water. Stay hydrated. Eat plenty of fiber. We got to add fiber in there. <laughs> But take care of yourself and then come back and see the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.